Hi everyone and welcome to Conquering Math. My name is Pat Long. Um, thanks for watching this intro video to Problem of the Day. What I'll be doing right now is telling you a little bit about how this is going to work and some other things that you can expect from me um, moving forward. I know that a lot of people in the US and around the world are at home a lot more than usual right now not really used to this um, and a lot of parents have been you know asked to take a much bigger role in their child's education than than they've previously been used to uh, i think honestly that's a, that's a good thing it's good to know what your kids are up to but i know some of you could use some help and i know there's a lot of teachers out there who are looking for um, good quality resources for their students to use so that's why i decided to do these problems of the day um, for those of you who don't know me I am currently a seventh grade math teacher here in Connecticut, and I previously taught both third grade and sixth grade in an elementary school in the same district. Um, so I've been using a lot of online resources in my classroom um, for quite a few years, and so I thought I would take some of that experience and, and share it with everybody, and hopefully uh, you find that it helps. So what you can expect moving forward, I'll be doing a problem of the day. Pretty, pretty obvious as the name implies, each day there'll be a new problem. And what I'll do is actually the next day I'll release a video where I explain one method um, to solve that problem. These problems are going to be kind of open-ended problem solving type examples. So there will be multiple ways to solve most of them. Um, so you can feel free to use any method you want. I just will give you, you know, one, maybe two examples on how to do it. And then at the end of that video, I'll post the problem, uh, the new problem that you can work on and expect a, a new video the next weekday. I'm also planning some homeschooling um, tips for parents homeschooling um, because I know a lot of you, like I said, are being asked to take a much bigger role in your child's education than you've been used to before. And you kind of need some help. What, what should I be doing to help them? Um, but what is too much? You don't want to give them too much help. And so this will be so some kind of ideas on how you can help them in the online environment and the distance learning environment. Um, and those will be coming out periodically. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. If, if there's a good response and people are finding them helpful, I'll, I'll keep turning those out um, as much as I can. So that being said, let's uh, take a look at our first problem of the day. So problem of the day number one is about gift wrapping. Uh, you're wrapping a gift box for your friend's birthday. The box is a rectangular prism that is six inches long, eight inches wide, and three inches tall. How much wrapping paper will you need in order to cover the box, ignoring overlap, and justify your answer? So tip for parents, um, you might want to, if your child is stuck, you might want to actually just take out a cardboard box and uh, bust out a ruler and a pencil and start measuring. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can solve this without doing that, so whatever works for you. Um, See if you can find multiple ways to solve it. That's always a great exercise. And definitely come back and visit tomorrow to see one possible solution. Uh, before I sign off, just one request. Please don't put your, uh, your answer in the comment box. Um, don't spoil it for other people who are trying to solve the problem. And also, if you're looking for a PDF, there will be links below this video. And you can go ahead and click those and, and get a PDF worksheet and print it out and write and draw. Do whatever you want right on there. Um, so I hope that this is useful and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Conquering Math.